but because uh, Lisa has been a quite active here, and Samantha is very good at keeping time, so I will be able to only highlight a few of them. And for those who are still hungry, they will have to wait until the annual report is coming out. Just very, very rapidly to remind you that the platform has 34 member organizations, very diverse uh, nature, and therefore it represents a neutral convening power, <coughs> which is able to uh, identify some themes of emerging or critical issues and uh, try to bring a consensus around this theme. These members are grouped along a common vision and conviction. It's the central uh, uh, position of ARD for poverty reduction and a common conviction that there is a need for a more coordinated global approach. The objective is to improve the quality of assistance that we uh, provide to the sector along two key lines of intervention. One is knowledge exchange and the other one is advocacy. Uh, in terms of aid effectiveness, the, the objective is articulated around three points. One is promoting the implementation of uh, major declaration, the Paris Declaration, the agenda uh, of ICRA for action to provide a forum, a forum for building consensus and facilitate harmonization and alignment. In 2011, these are a few of the uh, main uh, highlights of the uh, platform activities. The General Assembly, as was mentioned, was held in Tunis. The theme was networking. Uh, a number of um, uh, features or approaches like the World Cafe were uh, tested and very uh, uh, Fruitfully, it worked very well, and uh, the networking was actually took a, uh, a peculiar form, since the um, uh, the general assembly took place at the, exactly at the same time as the Jasmine Revolution. The networking was a bit extended and deepened in the in the hotel until everybody could go home, but it all went very well. Uh, the 2010 annual report has been put together with a substantive uh, input from member and uh, uh, editing. It's a, a good, good quality report with a very meaningful uh, summary. The website has been overhauled and is more user friendly for focal points to uh, feed in information. It's more reflective of the uh, platform processes and it's uh, uh, more flexible to uh, accommodate as The European Forum for Rural Development was organized with the uh, assistance of the, uh, of the platform. It was held in Palencia, in uh, Spain, in a rural setting, something that was widely appreciated, even by the population of Palencia, very curious of what was happening. The platform has produced a number of knowledge pieces, uh, the two main ones were uh, policy coherence, uh, which reviewed the progress in terms of uh, policy coherence based on uh, four country cases, Mali, Honduras, Mozambique and Cambodia. A second piece is understanding aid to agricultural development and food security. It looks at how uh, aid measurement and tracking procedure can contribute to transparency and accountability. The report is based on four donor organizations and countries, which are Germany, UK, USA, and uh, the World Bank, and three recipient countries, Nicaragua, Vietnam, and Malawi. Uh, the third piece is uh, in, at the final stage and is about uh, private sector and agriculture and rural development. Three policy briefs have been prepared on the same topics. Uh, and finally, uh, the, the event of the year in terms of if, uh, aid effectiveness was the high level forum, uh, the, the, the fourth one held in uh, Busan, for which the platform uh, prepared its evidence for uh, in a paper on agriculture and rural development, which is articulated around 10 points, stressing the specificities of the sector, the need to produce results and demonstrate them, which is a, a challenge in the sector. The role of the non-state actors is particularly important compared to other sectors and the danger of relying on quick fixes to solve long-term development. The platform during the conference was involved in all four um, 
agriculture and rural development events, especially co-hosting the side event IFAD, OECD, and WFP, and two mini debates. Reports were filed from Busan. A synthesis of the implications were was produced and virtual briefing was uh, organized afterwards. Uh, while ARD was not specifically mentioned in, neither in the, uh, in this, in the um, opening speech nor in the uh, conference document, there was a consensus of the, on the importance of ARD for um, achieving MDG1. Um, now, the, the three uh, main areas of work of the platform are CADEF, agriculture research, and uh, um, climate change. In the area of CADEF, the seventh platform, partnership platform uh, meeting uh, was held in Dar es Salaam with support from the Global Donor Platform and reviewed progress in its business meeting. The platform also supported the first Grow Africa Forum through establishing a task force to promote private sector engagement. The CADEP Development Partners Task Team have adopted a, a work plan which focuses on the country level and the platform has supported the concept and dissemination of uh, information notes to the agriculture donor working groups of the countries. The CADEP Task Leader and the Secretariat Group continues to provide a dedicated link uh, donor to uh, CADEP and finally, the platform has contributed to the framework document, an important document, of the AU Commission on Climate Change Adaptation and Mitigation. In terms of agriculture research, there is a working group uh, of the platform which uh, meets regularly virtually, a teleconference and video conferences, and the platform which pages, web pages provide an uh, important working tool. Two important events. The working group uh, helped to organize an interactive chat at the IFAD Agri Knowledge Share Fair on emerging opportunities for agriculture innovation system and in particular for smallholders. The platform also participated in a donor panel at the IFPRI FARA conference on ARD on the linkage between agriculture research and agriculture development. On climate change, the platform was uh, uh, listed as a co-organizer of the ARD in Durban and it was present in, with a stand re reporting daily from Durban. The platform has supported the ARD day communication group with advice and event marketing, for example, online video interview on climate smart agriculture with a focal point. We, you can see very well here. <laughs> Um, the platform has also supported the, the Commission on Sustainable Agriculture and Climate Change in the context of the CG research program, Climate Change, Agriculture and Food Security. A 100,000 uh, euro grant contributed to the publication of initial findings achieving food security in the face of climate change. Finally, very briefly on governance. There was a midterm review uh, which was commissioned in 2011. Its findings were that the platform is highly relevant, it's effective, it has already achieved significant impact, and it has the factors, the critical factors to ensure its success. The um, review also highlighted challenges. In about the three main ones are diverse expectations of the members on the influence and the visibility of the platform that the platform should have. Some members look more at the platform uh, from inward uh, perspective, some more as outward perspective with a, a lot of expectation in terms of influencing the agenda. The second challenge is how to build an, a social and knowledge capital and mobilize the members' energies. And the third is some management and decision-making arrangements. And these challenges should be reflected in the the strategy, in the next strategy framework in, in the work plan of the, the platform for the years to come. Um, the, the board has undertaken a, a review of the strategy, strategy framework and the development of this framework for the next period, 2012-2014. And finally, the, the charter is revisited to see whether some changes are needed. More on the daily uh, uh, side, the 
physical facilities, GIZ Bank has moved to a new location, and the personnel have, have, been, have been also uh, recording some changes. Since Christopher Landkamp has resigned from his position as patron coordinator, the board decided in June to appoint Monica Miguel as platform coordinator and she took her functions from September 1st. So two recruitment are still pending, her re replacement as a task leader in ARD and uh, the GPU, uh, junior profession. There are three interns for a six month period um, each. Uh, Pascal Corbe has relocated from Bonn to GIZ Ashbon, while Augustin Rambo is still in GIZ office in Pretoria. So my secretary colleague bring me to the end of my presentation, which I don't want to finish without wishing you all the best for a very good year 2012.